just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how we can embed Padlet to be used as a parking lot for students' questions um, into SLS. Okay, so, so this is um, the lesson that I did just um, yesterday during our very first full day of HBL, home-based learning. Um, on Thursday, 2nd of April. Um, this is a sample of my lesson that I did with 1T1 for science. Um, and so let's have a look. So as students are doing their lesson, they might encounter some issues and they would like to ask questions to clarify. So um, during a normal uh, lesson in class, they will be able to um, simply raise their hands and ask questions, but um, using SLS, um, this feedback process and question, questioning, seeking clarification process um, might be slower. So I thought we could make good use of um, Padlet as well as the fact that it is whitelisted and can be embedded into SLS um, to basically use this for questions uh, for students to park their questions here. So this is uh, a view of how it would look like, how the parking lot on Padlet would look like. And the function that it serves basically is, um, as I've written here, um, for them, in the case that they have any doubts or questions to clarify, they can park them here during the lesson. And since uh, the teacher, which is me, um, will be monitoring uh, their progress in the lesson in real time. Um, so I'm able to address their questions immediately as well. Okay, so let's have a look. So first step, we will have to go to Padlet. You will have to create your account. Um, so here I have already created a, an account using uh, my icon email. Okay, so we can click make a Padlet. So there's many, um, what should I call this? There are many uh, templates to choose from. Uh, my personal favorite is uh, this one, Shelf. So let me click on it. Okay, so once you are in, okay, so welcome to your beautiful new palette. Padlet, sorry. Okay, so what I really like about Padlet is that um, Unlike SLS, which in my personal opinion looks quite uh, Windows 95, I would put it. Uh, Palette really allows you to have a lot of customization. So for instance, in this title, I will put, let's say, for example, Miss Young's parking lot, uh, bracket 3E3 chemistry, for instance. Description. Uh, okay, so description for students to read, right? So if you have any doubts, or questions uh, to clarify, please park them in this parking lot during uh, the lesson. Full stop. Miss Jung will address them immediately. Okay, so um, okay, so you will have the link which is unique to your Padlet. Um, I don't quite like this wallpaper, so I will change to a solid color that I like. Say um, this green. Okay, looks a lot nicer. Then um, you can choose other things as well. Um, I would want to enable comments for viewers to comment, students to comment. Uh, what I really like is this part about content filtering. So. Um, so what I did was I, I enabled this. Okay, so if students have a comment, they would have to, so they would submit it, and then immediately I'll get a notification, uh, and it will require me to approve. So I will do like a QC first lah, check that it is nothing inappropriate, and then I'll let them post. Uh, I like this as well. We can filter profanity, so immediately it will filter bad words. Okay. Okay, so once that's done, just click next, and then you are all set. Post to your heart's content. Yes, so start posting. Uh, okay, so what I did was, um, 
I really like this template because um, it looks very much like a thinking routine, which SLS has, but like I said, it doesn't look too pretty. Okay, so the first um, column which I did was uh, to basically ask students to so-called show off the concepts that you know about, say, chemical bonding here in this column. Okay, so help each other to recap the concepts. So basically, this first column really is uh, in, in our teacher language, right? It is to um, activate uh, their prior knowledge needed for this particular lesson. Okay, so what I did also was I gave them some examples. So let's say, uh, for example, they can say, oh, uh, I know some tips and tricks of using the periodic table. Okay, so... For example, I know that group number tells us, tells me, okay, the, tells me the number of valence electrons. And then period number tells me the number of electron shells. Okay, so of course, ideally, good students will be able, hopefully, be able to tell you that. Okay, that's done. Next column. Okay, uh, I would also want them to surface any uh, conceptual misunderstandings or misconceptions that they would wish to clarify. So this second column uh, will be, okay, what are concepts that I am still unsure of? And wants the teacher, Miss Jung, to clarify. Okay, so again, I would post an example for them to see. So example of what you can post in this column will be, for instance, Zhe, I don't understand how to balance the charges. You know, something like that. Okay, then the third column will be um, technical issues. Since uh, this SLS thing is somewhat new, pretty new to, to them, so I would want them to surface any other queries or technical issues with SLS, etc. Okay, so again, an example of what you can post in this column will be, say, Zhe, SLS is crashing, help! Or, Alamak, my power trip cannot charge laptop. How? Something like that. Okay, and then finally, the last column. Um, so, yesterday was my first time trying this uh, platform, so I really wanted some feedback from them. So, I added this last column, which is, uh, how are you enjoying today's HBL lesson for chemistry? Bracket, leave a feedback. Okay, so, yep. So again, example of what you can post to encourage Miss Jung a bit, ha ha ha, because it is really not easy to plan this lesson, okay? Smiley face. So they could write things like, Ooh, Miss Jung, you are so cool. Something like that. So that's the idea. Um, so, perhaps just to let you see, have a little look at how things turned out, uh, I will show you this. This is um, the parking lot for 1T1 Science. I would say it turned out pretty well. So, for instance, this first column, show off concepts that you know about water pollution. Okay, so, yeah, it's really good. They were able to tell me that water is a good solvent. Uh, okay, uh, many more things. So I guess one issue is that um, they can post anonymously. So I guess we can just give them a rule that, you know, when you post a comment, you should always end up with end end off with your name, so that the teacher knows who posted that comment. Um, what concepts are you unsure of? Okay, I see that. You know, some of them really do share what are the challenges, the challenges that they face. Um, and then technical issues with SLS seems like it was pretty fine, so that was great. Uh, and then finally, this last part, 
(uh) on feedback which I really reminded them to to leave a comment and (uh) really to just help me to improve this entire process um yup so just have a look at what they said I enjoy HBL but science makes it more interesting that's that's really nice uh, I enjoy HBL lesson today because it is fun and enjoying to learn Miss Yong you are the best Yoo-hoo. thanks um yes I really do enjoy this lesson maybe you can do it more often I guess now I really have to do it more often <laughs> with this full HBL thing okay um yeah so that's on Padlet itself. I guess now more importantly, how is to talk about how we can um, embed it into SLS, right? That's the whole point. So if we have a quick look at this, this is how things should look like. Okay, so if you have any question at this point in time of this lesson, please go to this par- parking lot on Padlet. Da, 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 da. So all this is uh, on SLS, okay? And this is how things should turn out if you are able to successfully embed Padlet into SLS. Okay, so it's really quite a seamless uh, thing. Okay, so let me... Yeah, so it should look like that. Okay, and this thing about parking lot, uh, from what I learned from the SLS course that I went, um, it's helpful to have this Padlet parking lot at the end of every activity. So that, um, you know, that's why, that's the whole point, right? So as and when students have questions, they can, uh, you know, quickly park their questions in the parking lot. And as for the teacher side, we immediately are able to see uh, there is a notification and then we can immediately comment and uh, give feedback. And I guess at this point, I just want to share that uh, it's good because let's say, uh, for instance, what are the concepts I'm unsure of? Yeah, maybe maybe I should show you the other one. The one um with three and three. Okay, so um some of them really wanted to clarify some concepts. They posted on Padlet, um, and then I was able to. So I use a uh, another app lah. So I use my iPad to doodle some stuff and then uh, I saved it as a picture and then over here right if you look at my cursor um, I actually posted an image you know so if I click on it yeah so this is it so I could um, annotate and then uh, address her question and, and help her in that sense immediately um, and just to sidetrack a bit this iPad thing is perfect as well because you notice this little thing here, right? I can actually do a screen capture, screen recording of this iPad screen if I if I wish to. That's also fine. Then I can upload as a video explanation. Yeah, so a bit like a like a consultation, mini consultation window, so to speak. Yeah. So. Yep. So back to this. Okay, so the important part, how do you embed, right? Okay, so let me, okay, come to this. How to embed Padlet onto SLS? Okay, so let's just cut straight to it, okay? So step number one. Step number one, you click on text or media. Click. Okay, then you'll see this thing popping up. Go to this. This thingy here. Um, two symbols away from tooltip, you click it, it says embed website, click it. Okay, then this window will pop up. Okay, so this one, um, let's just say if you have a bit of coding experience, that will be a lot more intuitive. Okay, but basically, step number two, you highlight this whole thing, which is the example, Control c or Command-C if you are using Macbook, then paste. Okay, but we are not done. Um, we need to highlight this portion, this URL bit, okay, and that's the part that we do not want. We want to delete that and replace it with the URL of our Padlet that we just created just now, which is over here. Okay, so, so we'll click on um, share and then here, copy link to clipboard. 
okay so it says copied padlet url to your clipboard so that's copied already so back to slis now okay then you paste and then you're done press ok wait a while and then it's up okay cool then you press add and then you're done we're done and then of course we press done and then it's done cool hope this helps uh yeah tell you everyone it's a difficult time but uh let's help each other i'm sure we will be fine peace bye bye how do i switch this off this is my first time trying loom i have no idea how to clip off this how do i do it Hello?